You know, a lot of folks have suggested that they're juveniles and they're being prankish and uh, that they're, they're curious. I've got no idea about any sort of age or life stage. Um, I don't know why they do what they do, but I would agree with that statement in regard to curiosity. Now, as far as uh, the pranks, you know, do they push the firewood piles over as pranks? Are they trying to send a message as in, you know, we were here, we were watching, here's the evidence, here's the proof. I don't know. But I do believe I finally figured out a way, potentially, to get it on camera. So this is an old uh, chicken coop. This is where they'd, you know, they'd come in here at night, the chickens, and it's been out of service for a couple of years. We would often try to winter our chickens over here, and this, this is one of two of our gardens. We would let the chickens eat all the leftovers, all the vegetation from the previous growing season, and of course they'd fertilize the soil, scratch it up, aerate it. I thought I heard a growl. All right, so anyway, trust me, the closer we get tonight, the creepier things get. Here's my plan. I'm going to need this. These did not work. Now, they work as far as, you know, they come on. These are um, solar lights. We hung out here after chickens started dying on us uh, at the hands of what we believe certainly were him, her, it, or they. We put a couple of these out here hoping it would help, but it didn't really. But I have an idea. I'm going to try this evening to see if we might be able to get a better view. I'll be right back. I got a big old bass in my pond about as long as my arm. I'd love to see this sucker.
you have uh, headphones on, if you got earbuds in, I'd suggest taking them off or taking them out. Keep them close by though, because once it gets dark, you're gonna to wanna to put them back in and listen very closely. But take them out right now, you might have your ears hurt. We've got their attention by now. It's time to set the bait. So are they prankish juveniles? Are they sending a message? Is that why they regularly knock over these piles? I don't know, but I am convinced they're curious and I have been ignoring them as of late. I've been trying to capture images of them less as of late and it's by design. And just like uh, perhaps a, a child who uh, starves for attention, if you deprive them of it, they will become more and more hungry. That's the goal tonight. Let's get to it. take these now these will kick on as soon as it's dark not at dusk it needs to be full dark for these things to actually work so I'm gonna drape these over a log just back here behind the phone the phone will remain in place It'll stay exactly in this position So the, the uh, solar powered uh, lights are hanging on a log, draped over a log just behind the phone. They're not being placed closer to the wood pile because if they were placed between the camera and the wood pile, the light of course would shine into the camera and block our view of what's behind them.
sounds like we've got something moving around just inside the wood line back there in the woods. So I do believe we have piqued their curiosity. We have a full battery charge. This is an Apple iPhone 11S. This thing can record for 12 hours before the battery dies under normal conditions. Um, this time of year, I mean, it's December, Central Virginia. When this sun goes down, temperatures will drop. And I do know that uh, colder temperatures will drain a battery faster. So we've got to be aware of that. But the bait has been set. The lights have been put out. I can go in the house and stay in there and not have to get up close and personal with anything that may or may not come around tonight. The camera's in place to capture it instead of me doing it myself. So I'm going to go inside and have some dinner. We're going to wait till dark. Mm -mm. 